Hello folks and welcome to another Inkdependence.com brief video review and water drop test. This time we have Faber-Castell's Cobalt Blue. Uh, this is a really interesting ink. It's not as cobalty as I was kind of hoping for. Uh, it's a bit darker than that really. Let's see if I can get uh, a little bit of a zoom here. You can see it's got a, a definite uh, trend toward the dark end of blue. In fact, if you have a wet uh, pen like this one, this is my uh, Skyliner. Is it around here? Here it is. It's this guy right here, Skyliner 50. It's a wall over sharp. It's got a semi-flex nib that's kind of medium-ish most of the time. But it's also pretty wet to feed that semi-flex. And so you end up with um, you know a fair amount of ink on the page. And even with this pen, this is a fairly wet ink. So that's pretty good. A lot of people like those wet inks. It's very smooth. I really like the way it feels. I like the way it looks when it dries because it's more blue. When it goes down, it's a bit more purple. You do end up with some shading and some sheen, which are both very nice. A lot of people like that shading and sheen. I'm a big fan of it as well. Let's get it here in more light. You can see some of that sheen, some of that shading. Uh, let's see, not real sheen there. A lot of sheen there. There we go. Under the water test and then here where it's uh, smeared, you can see a lot of it stuck around. You can see a lot of uh, sheen and that sort of thing. It's a really cool ink, but uh, when I started using it, I didn't like it at all. Like, oh, it's like a purple. It's kind of violety. And it is a little bit violet. You look here, uh, compared to Visconti's blue, it is kind of violet. Uh, but it's, uh, I don't know, it's, it's, it's really kind of uh, grown on me. I like it uh, quite a lot. So this is uh, one that I can certainly recommend out of this line. Uh, I imagine the water test is actually going to go pretty well. This is one of those inks that's uh, partially document proofed, I believe, from Faber-Castell. Let's uh, go ahead and shoot some water at it. Ooh, partial might be the operative word here. A lot of that blue coming up. Not super surprising. A lot of blues like this, even when they're partially waterproofed or document proofed, are going to be, uh, uh, you know, you're, some of it's going to come up and there's going to be a base layer that sticks around. That's my experience with these waterproof blues mostly. All right. Well, let's blot it away and. Oh, interesting. A whole lot of blue came up. That's this one right here. Maybe it isn't document proofed. I'll have to go back and check the website again. Pretty sure it was. This one, however, though, does not have the sort of water resistance that you get from the uh, the black and the gray and um, shoot, what was the other one? Oh, the green. Yeah, moss green stuck around quite a bit, I think. So this one, uh, yeah, I wouldn't uh, call this water resistant at all. That's kind of a uh, poor performance. So uh, anyway, there you go. Uh, I had high hopes. I was actually surprised in the bad way this time. Most of the time, I don't expect much water resistance, but this time, I kind of did. All right. Well, there you go. This is Graf from Faber-Castell's Cobalt Blue. If you're looking for a blue that's kind of in the violet -y spectrum, go and find this at andersonpens.net or other fine retailers where it goes for around 30 bucks in a 75ml bottle, so big bottle of ink. Not quite as big as Noodler's, but still much larger than most of the competition. So, anyway, there you go. That's uh, Faber-Castell's Cobalt Blue. Peace out.